What is up guys and welcome back to our tutorial series In this episode we're gonna be creating our advanced bank command What I mean by advanced is basically we're gonna be utilizing uh, the options and the choices that slash commands uh, provide us And we're also gonna be doing some um, shakes on uh, the target and the um, interaction member So let's go ahead to our utilities folder We're gonna create a new file, we're gonna call it plan.js so for the time being guys i don't recommend you creating a lot of subcategories or not creating uh, any subcategories other than it, your utilities uh, for now until we update our slash command handler to use globe instead of fs all right inside the band.js we're going to require a couple of uh, stuff from the uh, discord.js package so let's require it right now and what we're going to be requiring is um, the client the command interaction and the message embed after that we're gonna be model export exporting sorry exports command is gonna be obviously ban the description is gonna be set um bans that target number uh, and then here we're gonna create our or we're gonna set our permission for the command uh, permission and it's gonna be administrator so not anybody in the guild uh, will be able to use it we're gonna go, go down one more time and um, here we're gonna create our options we're gonna open an array and the first option is gonna be target so we name it target make sure it's lowercase uh, and then description is gonna be sorry um, select a target to ban um, and then uh, that type is gonna be user we're gonna get the member object from that user and then we're gonna make it required true all right we're gonna put a comma at the end of this line a comma at the end of this line we can copy this actually um, and here we're gonna change the name of the target to reason and the description we're gonna change it to be um, provide a reason for this pan and the type is gonna be string because it's gonna be a text and it's gonna be required and then we're gonna create another line and here we're gonna change it uh, and the name of it is gonna be messages for example to delete the message history so if you go to your discord you try to ban somebody we'll see you can choose delete message history don't delete any previous seven days i'm not gonna add the 24 hours because it's it's useless basically so go back to our visual city code messages and here we're gonna type mm, uh, select uh, or choose one of the choices uh, the type is going to be string required true and in here the choices 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 just like this we're going to create an array the name of the first choice is going to be don't delete any and the value of it is going to be zero all right and we're going to copy paste this now we're going to put a comma and this we're going to copy it and paste it here and we're going to change this to um use seven days and the value is going to be seven after that is done we at the end of this array we're going to put a comma and here we're going to execute we're going to execute the client and the interaction and now we, we need to uh, grab the target member object from the user or from the target option we tap const target equals to interaction.options um, and we're gonna get member uh, let's set up our params uh, let's set up our params actually so we go above the align above the execute and for the client it's gonna be client and then for the interaction it's gonna be command interaction so here it can get auto completed like you see so dot options get member and we're gonna get it from the target and now we're gonna do a shake so we're gonna check if the target id is the same as the interaction member id we're gonna send them an embed saying that you cannot ban yourself so if target.id is equal to interaction.member.id we're gonna return interaction.followup embeds and inside that array we're gonna create a message embed we're gonna set the color of it to be red and then we're gonna sorry we're gonna set the description set description 
we're gonna add an emoji here and we're gonna set it to be you cannot ban yourself all right now we're gonna do another shake uh, so if we're gonna check if the target member has the administrator permissions we're gonna send that uh, you cannot ban an administrator uh, so to do that you tap if target dot per sorry dot sorry permissions my keyboard is not having the best of its days dot has administrator and then go down one more time and type return and we can copy this message over here and change the text in the description saying that you cannot ban an administrator pretty simple and now here we're gonna get the reason uh, so we type const reason equals to interaction dot options options dot uh, we're gonna get string from the reason and uh, there it is and here we're gonna uh, check if the reason so let me explain it to you better so if you go ahead and ban somebody we'll see that the character limit is 512 so if we type 512 characters here it's gonna limit us automatically because it's set to do so but in chat we can type up to a thousand uh, characters so it won't limit us so we have to force a limit so we type cons oh sorry we type if reason dot length is higher than 512 we're gonna return an interaction follow-up saying that the reason cannot exceed 512 characters so it's straightforward and here we're gonna target dot ban and in the options we're gonna type days and it's gonna be the amount we didn't grab the amount yet so let's grab the amount so here we type um, const amount equals to interaction dot options yeah my keyboard is really not having a good time options um, and um, we're gonna get uh, a string from the messages if we named it messages yeah over here and then the amount is gonna be set and then the reason is gonna be the reason that we prov provided and then we're gonna uh, type interaction dot follow up embeds uh, sorry embeds and inside the array we can create a message embed and the color of it is gonna be green and here we're gonna type dot set description we're gonna type description we're gonna type add an emoji real quick um, let's see we're gonna make it bold and then here we're gonna pass in the target dot user dot username has been banned all right uh, let's try our command real quick so if we restart our bot let's see we got an error uh, let's see what the error is and values from values choices value we have to put them inside quotes that's a uh, seven just like this now let's, re let's restart our bot and it should be fine now if you go to our discord to our bots let's wait until it loads up let's restart our discord right if you type slash and click on our bot we should see the ban option uh, it should load in a couple of seconds uh, if it doesn't load for you um, quickly then you wait a couple of minutes so if you see we did slash ban and here it's we need to provide a target if we didn't it's gonna just basically tell us that this option is required uh, let's set the target to be this uh, test member and here the reason also if we, we can't skip it so we have the reason uh, for being not right, we can tap tab and here we'll see the options or the choices so don't delete any or previous seven days so let's um, uh, demonstrate it for you so if i go to my alt and I'm gonna send a couple of messages, all right, like you see here. And now if I set it to delete the previous seven days, press enter, you see it deleted the previous messages and um, this account has been banned, like you see. Um, now, 
if you go to the server settings let's remove the server settings let's remove the band and let me rejoin the server um let's see go over here all right now if we go to the discord here type something in the channel and now if you ban him again ban target reason hello messages don't delete any it will ban him without deleting any messages so i hope this uh, episode was helpful to you uh, while we created the command you also got to know how to create the choices and the options